Hi there. In this lecture, we will create a SharePoint site. As you all know that SharePoint site can be accessed from a web so that all the content can be uploaded and can be downloaded or it could be more useful for your teams to collaborate more. And also you have an option to make the site as a communication site or you could also create a team site where they could, you know, collaborate by sharing the documents all of that so let's begin all you have to do is go to the admin.microsoft.com and you need to have the office 365 specific and then go to sharepoint when you click on a sharepoint you get a sharepoint admin site within this site you have an uh, option if you see all active sites this is where you should be able to create a site we do have here a communication site and multiple other site pages are there for example sales and marketing retail but now we are talking about a new site so how to create that we would be you no know, learning so that being said let's create on a click create button and we talked about the two different type of sites that's the option you're gonna get it one for the team side other one for the communication side so the communication site it's going to share the information that engages your uh, viewers and you could you know, also inform them your viewers like you know creating a portal subject specific sites all of that but this is the team side where you should be able to collaborate by uploading documents all of that stuff and also within this you could also make the site as a public that is within your organization or to your specific persons who have access that also you should be able to do it so we'll begin with creating a site as a team site so i'll click on that give a meaningful description for example this could be uh, it help desk site example and then that's the um, id it's going to create a group email id and this is a site name so if anybody wants to you know access they should be able to access with my you know uh, this is my tenant dot uh, sharepoint portal dot com sites it help desk. that's how it's gonna name it so it's all up to you what do you want to you know name it or i could you know i don't want to put it as a you know help desk so i'll just put it in only uh, it instead of it help desk i should be able to put it as help desk example so i should be able to do in that way also if there is an option available but if you see here already help desk is available that's why i'm not able to create that's why it's coming as a help desk too so that's why I'm giving here IT help desk. It should be available this address and you could you know Owner who's the owner of this. So I have in you know, a multiple users. So I would like to you know, go with the Paddy Maddie So Paddy is the user and the site, you know, it can support in you know, a multiple languages So you should be you know, choosing your desired language and click on next or when I click on advanced settings, I get an option. This is where the private only members can access, meaning the user must be member of this AD groups, then only they should be able to access. Otherwise, you need to, uh, you need to you know, uh, make them as a public so that everybody within your organization can access the site. So that being said, let's actually choose anybody in the organization can access and you're going to give your it help desk um, team site example um, that's what i want to give here description that's it and uh, if you want to make as a public you know to add any other members because it's already members click on finish and that's so or if you want to you know give as additional members for example i want to give maybe uh, pradeep in this case uh, Pradeep she wants to be is an accountant example. I want him to be a member or owner I should be able to you know perform some actions So if a site owner he has a full control a member can view and edit the site Content including files and all of other stuff. So these are the things that I should be able to do it So let me take here two more users for example I want to use run as well as the Shanti I wanted to use these two users to be one for the owner other one as a member let's see you know what would happen so now the site got created how would i access the site simple you need to you know, remember the site url in case if you do not remember you could you know come back to all active sites within this shape and portal and come back and click on that so that would actually take it this url to a new page where 
have a full permissions and also you have you know designing options should be able to design your site the way you want it um, so in my case i don't want any additional uh, designing options i'm okay with this a uh, default structure or default content type so if you want to you know upload any of the documents i should be able to create here a folder example it hell desk you know tickets I should be able to upload my content here or maybe some other things can be done here that's how you should be able to do it i hope the short lecture is useful for you thank you for watching